Hi, I'm Victoria Harris. I work for Pasadena High School and I've been teaching woodchop for about 20 years now. Uh, currently at Pasadena High School, we teach the NCCER program for carpentry and core curriculum. And uh, today I'm going to get to do a real fun project, which is a birdhouse. This is my birdhouse right here. This is a Home Depot kit that you can go down to the Home Depot and buy it. It'll come to you. It'll look like this. Okay. So I'm going to open this up here real quick and going to show you the pieces and I'm going to start showing you how to lay things out. Now in here, I have it right here actually, in here you have a set of instructions and it's really nice because with woodworking projects your instructions are usually very visual. So you really don't have to read it real close, but it's always a good idea when you're planning a project to go ahead and look. Now this comes in two different languages. You're going to have an English version on top and then you're going to have a Spanish version on the back. And what you have to do first is you're going to have to do some planning because we're going to be banging which is a lot of fun, but your mom's not going to appreciate it if you do it on her kitchen table. So you may want to find a place that's going to accommodate your banging, okay? Because you don't want to damage anything while you're making your house, okay? And you're going to be handling glue. Glue can be messy. It can drip. Um, you're going to have all kinds of problems if you don't have something to wipe your glue up with. So you're going to want to have uh, a piece of paper towel or something to wipe your fingers with. You're going to need a hammer, which came with your Pasadena ISD kit. And you're going to have a screwdriver. These are very, very handy tools to keep and um, keep them for future projects, okay, because now you have a toolkit, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read our instructions. And then we're going to lay out our pieces and we're going to identify them, okay? So I'm going to help you go through and identify them. You're going to have some waste here. We're going to get rid of that, okay? <clears throat> the first thing you're going to have is the front of your house, okay? You're going to know it's the front of your house because it has some little starter holes here. There's going to be four little nails in the front. This is going to be your perch and this is where your bird gets into his house. So lay that out first and that's going to be your first piece. Your second piece is the back of your bird house. You're going to know it's the back because it has these four little holes here for you to start your nails, okay? That way you know exactly where your nails are going to be. Then I want you to identify the sides, okay? The sides are kind of short because air has to get into your birdhouse first so that the little birdies in here can breathe. You don't want it to get too hot in your birdhouse. So the sides line up with the bottom, okay? And it leaves this little space here so that the air can get through, okay? So these are going to be shorter and smaller. We're going to set them off to the side here. And then on your instructions, it has two more pieces. Now, this is going to be your roof, okay? You'll notice here that there are starter holes for your nails, okay? And then here again, starter holes for your nails. Um, one side, I'm going to say the short side is going to go on first and then we're going to put on the long side. If you look here at the birdhouse, you'll notice that one side of it, which would be the left side, is shorter, okay? And this side is longer, and it's actually going to be what creates the peak on your house, okay? So that's how it's going to look. So here's the back, here's the front, and then the bottom piece, on this particular one, it actually has a sticker. So I'm going to call that the bottom. It has two holes in it that are going to be for your screws. So before you get started, you're going to want to take your little packet here 
and you're going to line everything up. Now, one thing I noticed about this is that they didn't give you any extra pieces. Okay, so you're going to have to be careful not to open this up too fast because you'll spring pieces all over the place. And if you can't, oh, if you can't find them, then you're going to be kind of caught out on that. Okay, so I'm going to see here's my two screws for the bottom. Okay, and here are my nails. Now these are finished nails. They've got little heads on them. And you can, what they call, countersink these with a nail set. But your, your little package here didn't come with a nail set. The reason they usually punch these in a little deeper is that you can go back and fill them with um, uh, wood filler, OK? But there's no wood filler either. So those are going to be things that you're going to think about whenever it comes time to paint your birdhouse. Okay, so we're going to set our pieces off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and in order to save myself the trouble of looking for pieces that fall off the table when I start banging, I'm going to go ahead and start my screws. Remember when you're screwing, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. So in order to tighten this up, you're going to turn it clockwise. Okay, you don't want to go all the way through, so I'm going to back it up a little bit. And here we go, I'm going to get this one. And that's ready to go. And that way when I start banging, I don't have to worry about things falling off the table. Now, the most important thing you've got to do next is you've got to start your nails. We have lots of nails here. Sometimes people find it kind of hard to nail. This is a little bitty stubby hammer. And <clears throat> I may actually find it hard to ha handle this because I've never used a little stubby hand handle hammer. But if I mess up, I'm going to show you how to fix it in case you, you mess up. You put it in like that and give it a good whack. Sometimes I like to just almost go all the way through, but don't go all the way through. Just go almost all the way through. Okay. So I'm leaving about half an inch here. This is a three quarter inch piece of wood and I'm leaving about half an inch here. I'm going to go ahead. They've got the little bitty holes on your project so you know where to go. And when you're nailing, be sure you nail straight down. Otherwise you're going to bend the nail. So notice I, I only hit it about four or five times. Hold on to it. Give it about three little taps. Okay. Then now it's, now it's set. Okay. And then I go through like that. Now this one's ready to go. Now this is the back of my house. I'm going to need four nails again. You don't want to go too deep. You're going to leave about a half of an inch. Okay. And this is where it's real important you're not working on your mama's table, okay? Because if you go all the way through, you're going to mess up the surface. <clears throat> Maybe there's a floor you can work on. Maybe there's a picnic table outside you can work on. Maybe you're really lucky and your dad has a workshop table. You could work there. Okay? I'm going to leave them about quarter of a, about half an inch. Okay, so we've got about half an inch. <clears throat> this is the short side of the roof. Notice the little holes that are already started. Okay, if you feel like something's gone in a little bit crooked, you can come back and you can kind of tap it this way to straighten it up. Okay, that will help you. Don't go all the way through yet. Um, this wood is really soft, so it's going to make it easy for you to nail. You know, they were thinking about that when they put the, when they put it together. So you want to keep in mind, it's not going to take just a whole lot of banging. If you'll notice, I'm just barely having to tap these. Okay. This is the part I like best when I get to use tools. Okay, now I have all my P 
pieces here lined up. Okay, I'm ready to go. What am I going to do first? Okay, first of all, you got a little tube of glue in your um, in your kit, and the glue has a little sort of like silver cap here. But if you push all the way down on your thing here, it will punch a hole in your glue. Okay. Now I'm going to line these up here. This is my front. These are my sides. It's going to make it easier for you to do your to do your assembly if you go ahead and line up your pieces like this because it keeps it level and it makes sure that as you're working this side is supported too okay so that's going to be easier to do now what I recommend is you take your glue right here and be real careful um, like I have a little piece here that I'm working with that I have for wiping up glue but I'm going to kind of just barely get it started and then I'm going to do like a little zigzag here of glue only on one side okay this is the side that I'm going to be hammering first and I'm going to put the glue over a paper towel because it's going to make a mess if you don't okay don't squeeze too hard because the pressure in the tube will keep squeezing out the glue and you're not going to have just a whole lot of extra glue because that's only a little bit of glue so I want you to save as much as you can now when you line it up okay you can use your finger and kind of run it across the sides here to make sure you get it all nice and lined up make sure you got your other piece under it okay and now I want you to hold it like that might be a little bit easier said than done if you find it kind of hard um, join the club so here we go now I don't want you to keep hammering once it's even okay because otherwise you'll leave what they call big moon marks on here from your hammer okay so don't over hammer okay so we have this side done see there it should be straight on the sides and it should be flat on the bottom if it's not it's not the end of the world did you know you can just pull this apart and kind of reposition it if you have to do that you can knock the, the the nails back through and start over there's always that okay and it'll be a little messy because you got some glue but it's not the end of the world so you don't have to be perfect okay this is supposed to be fun so I'm going to try to hold this and hammer at the same time remember it needs to be flat here and flat at the bottom okay um, sometimes as you're hammering your pieces might have a tendency to float around so just be sure you've got them still lined up and there I've got my two sides on now I'm going to put on the back okay so I'm going to rotate it this way and this time you got to put glue on both sides okay so I'm going to put glue on this side and I'm going to put glue on this side okay I am once again going to make sure to put my glue over somewhere safe so it doesn't drip everywhere and then I'm going to line up going to line up my birdhouse okay once I have it lined up this time I'm going to put in a nail here okay got that kind of lined up and then I'm going to kind of cross over here and line up this side and I'm going to crisscross I'm going to do a nail here that way it's not going to keep moving it around since you already have the glue on it okay it, it won't keep moving around so now you've got it You've got it fastened down and you just have to finish your nails okay see there very nice huh okay so we have a front and a back and we have the sides on and now we've got to do the top 
And <clears throat> I think on your instructions, it talks about putting the short side on first. So let's go with that. Now, notice, as you're looking at your little house, that there's an overhang here, OK? There's an overhang here so your bird can get in the house without getting wet, OK? There's a little overhang here to keep the water from draining into your birdhouse. And that means the back of it is flat, OK? So we're going to make sure that it lines up flat here and that it lines up across here, OK? So if I look at my piece, I will notice that there's a long side and a short side, OK? So I'm going to do the left side first which is this side. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, okay? We've got to glue both sides, but when we're nailing, it says here that we've got to kind of nail this way. So I'm going to show you what to do next, okay? So I'm going to run a little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue here. Okay. Now, we're going to locate this here, OK? And we're going to make sure that it runs flush with the top right here, OK? It has to be in line. You can use your finger to feel it to make sure it's in line, and then make sure it's in line with the back. Now, I don't like hammering sideways, so what I do is you're going to have to keep checking it once again, is I will rotate it like this so that I can come straight down, OK? Like that, OK? And that way, I don't have to worry about bending my nails. Because if you're trying to bend the uh, hammer sideways, it doesn't work, OK? So now I'm going to go this way. And as you're doing this, be real careful because sometimes it has a tendency to want to slip, OK? And notice, once again, I did crisscross, OK? That way it's set. And when it comes to these last two nails, it's not so hard, OK? Up, see there how it bent? All you have to do is go through here and kind of tap it like that. These are, these are just little wire nails. Okay, and then this one. Now, keep in mind, this is, this is not a race. You take as much time to do this as you feel comfortable, okay? You take all the time in the world. Now, this is the top of your house. Be sure to look at your pieces, okay? Look at your pieces and put your pretty pieces in the front. Like this is all crumbled up here on the back. So I'm going to put it in the back, OK? And do what's called a dry fit, OK? I'm going to look at this and see how it lines up and make sure that I don't have any problems and that everything is going to fit properly. So that looks really good to me. And this is, once again, we're going to do sort of a little zigzag pattern here on our glue, OK? And then I'm going to do a zigzag pattern down and another zigzag pattern, OK? Now, I've got a lot of glue in here. I may put a little extra glue here because this is the top. And usually, if it's going to have a problem, it has a problem at the top, so we're going to make sure it's all glued in here real good. OK, guys, there we go. Now, put your glue off to the side. And remember, I talked about the crumbly side. It's going to be on the back. OK, I'm going to line it up. And remember, we want it to be flat here at the top. If you look at it, what you want is it to be flat at the back. And you want it to be flat at the top, OK? And what I'm feeling here is that this piece is a little bit shorter than that piece. So I really want the front of my house to look good, OK? So I'm going to look at this real quick. 
and I'm going to line this up so that the front of my house is nice and even, okay? Then I'm going to turn it again, and I'm going to hammer the first nail. Now this is kind of tricky, okay? So you're gonna to have to turn it and nail at the same time. And see what's really important here is that you started the nails first, okay? So you don't have as far to go. Oh, look at that. That missed all together. Well, that's a problem with my kit, okay? What happened here is that they located the nails too far over, which is a perfect opportunity to show you how to fix something, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this nail out like that. It's not the end of the world, right? And I'm going to relocate these nail holes. Now, keep in mind I've got a little bit of glue on this now, okay? I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it right here, okay? And this is what happens sometimes whenever you're working with something, is that people make mistakes, okay? So we're going to locate this out here. And I just moved it over about a quarter of an inch, okay? Because what it did is it missed, it missed the whole house, okay? So I'm gonna hope that these are set pretty good. And since I've got a lot of glue here and I still have a bunch left here, I'm going to put some more glue on, okay? So it won't be too dry. So here we go again, okay? Keep in mind, you're almost finished. So, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna try it again, okay? Here we go. Now, once again, I don't like nailing sideways, so I'm gonna turn my house sideways. It's starting to shift as I'm beginning to nail, so I'm going to realign it. Now, sometimes, if it helps, you can put something underneath. Like here, I've got this other little house. But the problem is you've got to sort of find something that's about the same height. So let me see if something like that would, nah, same. All I can do is hold it. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to line it up here. Wow, these are going to miss too. If you look down, if you look down the line here, you'll realize that the nails are set wrong. So I'm going to do the back first. Okay, guys. Be careful about getting your finger too close, okay? So I don't want you hitting your finger. And then I'm going to relocate these, okay? I've got an extra. I've got an extra, okay? So now, <clears throat> now I'm gonna have to get these started. Notice this is your wall here, okay? So you want this to line up with your wall, right? This works pretty good. You might end up b uh, bending your nails if you do that, but that's real easy to fix, okay? I'm doing it like this to keep it from slipping on me. Whoops, see here? But it's kind of hard to hit that nail straight. would have trouble with the last nail, huh? But 
there we are. Okay, there you go. You've built a birdhouse. Now, we're going to put the bottom on, okay? Um, be sure to fit it, okay? If it's gonna be a little bit short or a little bit long or something like that, move it around to make sure that you've got it on there the right way. Now, it doesn't even give you an idea what the grain, which way the grain should run, but I kind of like it this way better because it's easier to fasten. If you'll notice here on your pieces, this is what we call the end grain, okay? With the end grain, it's easier to drive in a screw on the end grain than it is to, to hit the long grain, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna turn it this way and we're going to put it that way. Now, I want the front to look pretty, but if you'll notice here, it's a little short in the back. Um, but I'm gonna try to maintain the, the looks and the integrity of the front because that's what everyone's gonna be looking at, okay? Well, actually, let's put some glue on this too, huh? So, we have a little bit of glue left. You know what I want you to do? I want you to put this in first since we're almost out of glue and we wanna make sure to have enough glue for this. So just, this is your perch. You're gonna take it like this, just kinda turn it until it goes in the hole and then you can tap on it to get it in place. And then with what's left of your glue, we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on the bottom, okay? Because this is all that's left, okay? Now, um, feel free to use all of the glue. I didn't need all of it. I don't like having a squishy mess, okay? I'm really not very fond of squishy messes. So, I said I'm going this way. And I'm going to do, I'm going to fasten down the front first, okay? You know what, I'm, I'm seeing a bit of a gap here. I'm going to tap these to make sure this is all nice and tight first because I can see a gap right here, but it looks like this piece may not be all that, all that straight. So, but that's okay. No one will ever notice, okay? It'll just be our secret. So here, I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to line it up with the front and I'm gonna screw it in. Okay, it's gonna wanna twist on you, so you're gonna hold it down and turn it pretty good. And then you're gonna turn it this way. Now, notice how it did that, it kind of lifted. See how it did that? It made kind of a big gap there. Sometimes you don't wanna tighten this all the way down just to avoid that. I mean, if, if you just wanna tighten it down halfway, I'm gonna go ahead and see if this will tighten up okay. Yeah, it's gonna tighten up just fine, okay? Now notice this piece is cut a little bit short and it, it's got a little bit of an overhang right here, but that's the back of your house, okay? But otherwise you're finished, okay? You have a nice birdhouse. And um, give it a little while for the glue to dry, okay kiddos? And then you can, then you can decorate it. So say thanks for letting me be here. And I hope you enjoy the project. Now I have two birdhouses. So i um, love to see some examples of how they're going to get decorated. But today, this is all we're going to do. We're not going to do the decorating. We just did the building. So thanks for being here. Once again, Pasadena High School. My name is Victoria Harris, and I run the construction program there. Hope to see you. Bye-bye.